Are you sure that you are walking in the will of God right now? If you're sure that you've heard a word from him, you know that what you're doing as you're trying to walk through this life is according to his will and his plan. Then 1 Corinthians 28.20 20 tells us that we don't need to be afraid. In fact, he says, do not be, do not fear, do not be dismayed for the Lord, your God will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you until you have finished the work of the service. And in this, we have this beautiful promise that when we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that what we are doing is the will of God, even when it becomes challenging, which it will sometimes, right? Even when there's opposition, even when there are days where we begin to question, we begin to doubt, we can set that aside and be reminded, no, this is God's will. If it's God's will, he's with me. He's not going to forsake me. I don't have to be anxious. I don't have to be afraid of what might be happening. In fact, in this text, right, we're seeing David kind of commission Solomon to all of the plans God gave David in building the temple. And we know for a fact that not only was God with Solomon, not only did God give the specific plans and details to David and then give a word to confirm that to Solomon, God then provided everything Solomon would need to have this temple built. And so we can take that truth and know that as we are walking in God's calling, walking in faith, believing him, asking him, he is going to provide for that. And so not only do we not have to be afraid of the opposition, we don't have to be afraid of the provision. There's so much peace in that. So we are able to be still and know him more when we are walking in his will.